Okay, everybody, we're back on the channel. And you see who we're getting ready to discuss. Yes, because we're trying to find out some... We're trying to get some answers to some of the questions we have on how Portia Williams is faring out here on these streets in Atlanta. Okay. She went on Kelly Clarkson show, made a fool out of herself, talking about an organization she don't really care about. That's her grandfather's organization and his people on his side of the family that he birthed into the world. They are doing their darn thing. Portia needs to get a YouTube channel. We all need to tell her she need to get a YouTube channel because she can do the same thing Candy Burris has done. Solidified herself, cemented herself in social media, got her a platform, and she's making money hand over fist. Okay? Hand over fist. And it seems like our person is not uh, looking at Candy Burris and taking notes. Okay? Because her show is going to be a hit because she has three women that definitely know the business and they give us the drama okay or i should say the dramatics they don't hold nothing back and every time candy enlists her family into doing something it comes out golden that's why bravo likes working with her she keeps the numbers up because aunt bertha mama joyce and aunt nora that's aunt bertha She's the no take, no shit, no prisoners. She's the I be damned if you're going to come mess with me and mine. Okay? And we know y'all know Mama Joyce. She gets the tea off the streets because people be talking to her. And then she starts telling us what the streets are talking about. Then you got Aunt Nora. She's the quiet one. But you got to watch her because she'll come out and pop you in the head with a bottle when you least expect it. Okay? And that is Candy and her game. They are down with her like four flat tires. Like it matters. Your life matters and it depends on it. So I like those odds. That's why that show is going to be a huge success. For her and for Bravo. And she does cut her family in respectfully. That's why they hang with the girl. But now we got to take a flight. We got to take a flight. Okay in the air. So we can discuss something at 53,000 feet. All right. We want to know. The people want to know. Yes, we fly Delta. Okay. We don't fly Southwestern or anything like that. We fly Delta. Why have you lost your jobs? When did you meet? When you met Simon Gabadia? Yori? Eeyore? However you want to look at them. You lost the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You lost this nation. And all of these were your choices. Or unless you were trying to beat them to the point where they're trying to fire you, Portia. Or and you were just trying to beat them at their own game. I'm talking about this nation, not necessarily Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because short as it's being kept quiet and I'm speaking it loud, they tried to fire you. They was going to get rid of you. They weren't going to renew your contract at this nation. Don't know how true that is, but you beat them to the point. But we'll see. We will see if you can get back in them doors at Real Housewives of Atlanta come season 15. And you can get back on this nation. Okay, because I'm pretty sure Ricky Smiley had a lot to do with you getting into that. Because right now, I don't like them eyes, Portia. They look kind of demonic or reptilious. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what you were doing with that photo. All right, but you're promoting your go naked hair. All right, that's you and Lauren, and that was supposed to be in your company. But Lauren seemed like she had something to say about that, that she didn't care too much for working with you. It wasn't a joy or anything. Cause she, sold, she sold her half to you, and she got the hell out. Okay, so what's going on with that? Family can't work together? You weren't paying Lauren that much? Because, you know, when she was in your pursuit of Porsche, or not pursuit of Porsche, but Portia Family Matters, she was driving an everyday car. And she done been on the show, I don't know how many times. It seems like she should have been saving her coin. Then she works for you as her assi as your assistant. And you weren't paying her enough to drive at least a Mercedes? You weren't paying her enough, Portia, to even get the C-Class for the baby girl? Alright? But now you just have your sheets and your hair that you're pedaling around. Which, it might look like a hot mess, but if it's paying your bills, girl, stick with it. 
because you lost some six-figure jobs six-figure income jobs just because you thought you were hooking a real big fish in the little pond all right so i'm like girl you fell from grace hard hard as hell because you put all your eggs in one basket thinking that yuri was going to save you from being out there working amongst the working class okay even though everybody got to work for something either themselves or someone you chose to not do either one of them anymore because you want to live off his money or lack thereof i'm not really sure because as i speak it loud as everybody want to hear you're supposed to be in contracts with a company called sofi okay it's an american online financial service institute company located in san francisco california girl the company was newly founded in 2011 that means they're just 11 years old and you don't hooked up with them have the bottom are you at the bottom of the barrel now portia because usually when people do advertisements for companies they pretty much are like senior citizens and they're ready to get, really get out of it because i'm just waiting for you to come with um with a colonial pen advertisement or what's one aarp okay because you ain't got for 10 more years but it just is what it is but you're doing you're adding on to your portfolio where you're doing advertisement for a newly developed financial institution uh that specializes in student loans refinancing mortgage jizz personal loans credit cards investing and banking through both mobile app and on desktop interfaces yes it's called so fine and i think you were trying to tell us about it um on when you were at the super bowl because you were taking pictures by that logo but i'm like can you still got her job i mean she had to go back and and come back again when she didn't want to share her life with mark saying they were married and this that and the third she wanted to do all that so they kicked her to the curb for a year but she came back will they do the same for you i'm hoping so because i don't want to see you destitute and out down and out you know what i'm saying i have feelings for you all right and i don't want to see you, you out like that because you're taking care of too many people like candy <coughs> you gotta take care of your people you know you gotta take care of your mama because she lost her house and all that kind of stuff doing some bad investing or whatever but it just is what it is. Water under the bridge. And I think you got your grandmama and your granddaddy living at that house as well. But we don't see them on camera. I'm just saying I heard that through the streets, girl. I heard that through the streets. And if it is true, it's cool. But I've been telling you to go over there to Zeus Network and work up a pilot of a sitcom show over there, girl. All right? Because we got some half-spin actors over there. And they're doing real well. Okay? They got some checks coming in. I'm not going to say it's going to be six figures. But at least they're still doing what they like to do, which is working on reality TV programming. Okay? So maybe you need to do that. You definitely need to get a YouTube channel. I sure will follow you for the commentary. I sure would. And you probably have some other like-minded people do the same. Or the fans that you still have out there. But yeah, that's the company I was talking about so far. They are a financial institution. Porsche definitely is repping them out. To go get loans, whether you got student loans, you need to refinance, whether you want to get a mortgage loan, that's the app they're talking about you can use. She's promoting them. Hell, I'm helping her promote by talking about this shit. But she had very lucrative jobs that you didn't need no education for. The only thing you had to do was wanting to be a part of social media. And you could talk a little bit and explain yourself. And that's all the tools of the trade that you needed to become a success. She had all of that. She lost all of that. Trying to elf with Eeyore or Yori or whatever his name is, Simon, okay? Simon ain't his real name. Yori is his real name. Gabadia, not how we were spelling it. It was spelled a little bit different than what we were going with. So that's why I call him Simon G or Papa Smur or Old Senior Citizen's Man, all right? That's going to have a short life if you keep... Uh, we call it partaking of them darn cigars. 
and the secondhand smoke portion that comes from there. Cause I know he's just smoking up the house. I know the house is just smoked up. Or if it's not in the house, he's on the outside smoking it up. Because even when he was appearing on your shows, he was smoking. In the car, he's smoking. Girl, how did you get with somebody that just loved smoke? How you want to kiss on them? That smoke, bro. Then he, you sat up there. It's his karma coming for you, girl. It's his karma coming for you. Is that why you losing everything? Because you were messing with that lady's husband at the time. Even the time that y'all were filming. When you wanted to say she was not your friend. Well, she damn sure wasn't Simon friend when y'all was over there taping. And she invited you, Tanya, and who was the other person with y'all? I forgot. Shamil. Was it Shamil? I think it was Shamil. Shit, I can't remember. But three people went over to his house while Fallon was trying to. Was it Cynthia? Shit, I can't remember. But hell, even Eva got her job still at Dish Nation. And you were there before Eva. Isn't that some shit? I tell you, Portia, you're losing big time, baby. And the only determined, well, the only common denominator factor that I see is Simon. He's bad luck, girl. Because even Kenya was doing two shows at one time. Girl was making it do what it do. She's on Dance with the Stars, lost a lot of weight fooling with them. And it looks good on her. How they said the, my, the body makes milk makes the body look good. Uh uh, dancing the star made Portia, I mean, made uh, Ken, Kenya look very good, okay? And she's flaunting it everywhere she can get a chance to. She is serving up and serving what she normally gives us, okay? Just added a little bit more with her new constructive figure. And her old figure wasn't that bad either. But she just fine tuned this one. And she's showing out, girl. She's showing out. She's showing up and showing out. And what you doing? You just ass out. Ass out. Now, I can see him wearing shades when he's in the car driving around the city of Atlanta or wherever he's traveling. But when you have a man that's inside of a stadium looking at a game and he got shades on, it's something wrong with that man. Okay? It's something wrong with that man. Because you don't need dark shades. And already a well lit area where you can see, it's not hurting your eyes. They don't have spotlights like that at the game. But he's sitting there with that. And now you're repping this company that's very new. It's not like it's been 20 plus years they've been in business of 30, 40, 50, or 100 years in business. You're repping somebody that's fairly new. A fairly new company based out of uh, San Francisco, California. Girl, you better get a YouTube channel. Don't sleep on it because you need all the money you can get. Because I just don't see you being with Simon. The, the, the environment is not right. The optics that you're giving us is not right. Only thing when I think of Simon is brown liquor and a cigar. That's all I think of when I see him. Brown liquor and a cigar. And none of them mix with pa baby PJ. None of them. That's not two mixtures you want to put that baby girl in. So I'm hoping she just come and spend time with you because that's where you are. And you're sending her back on her little way to her, her grandmother's house. Either or my Grandma Regina or your mama. And more than likely it's your mama. Okay. But to keep it very fair, you know, you should be splitting her up between the two. But I know that's too much for us to ask you to do. That's why Dennis needs to do what he needs to do this year and make sure everything is kosher and y'all got 50-50 um, dips on Miss PJ. Okay? Because he's a very beautiful, well-established, well, uh, what do you call it? Mannered, I guess you would say, for lack of a better word. Stable child at this time. Because you're not filming anymore. You're not putting her in the lime light of celebrity ship, which she didn't sign up for, and she shouldn't be pressed to be a part of it. But you try to put her in as much as possible, instead of just being left to the adults to sift through. So, she's probably loving it. All your attention you're giving her, minus the attention when you're hanging out with Simon, because you definitely should have been in Atlanta. Being with her on New Year's Eve to bring in the new year. And your ass should have been here on Super Bowl. Okay. I'm just saying. 
because you're never going to get those growing moments back. The child's steadily going to be growing up, growing up, and growing up. And by the time you notice her, really notice her when you don't stop fooling with this man, she's going to be a teenager. And she's going to be serving up whatever you served to your mama when you were a teenager. Okay? You remember the weed little thing? And she wanted to cuss out everybody except for you. Like they had forced you to do weed and drink and all this when you probably was the one spearheading the whole shit. Okay? But it just is what it is. It just is what it is. But, Portia, we need you to do better. This year, you need to really decide whether you're going to stay with this man or not. Because you're definitely use, uh, losing a lot of revenue and a lot of sponsorships. Okay? Because after they saw you fighting on the show that was supposed to bring out the best in you. And probably put you on another platform for you know, more celebrity uh, stardom or more celebrity opportunities. But no, I'm saying you gave us a how you need to be a part of the Wrestling Federation. Okay? Or the UFC where you go and kickbox and martial art people to death. You know what I'm saying? And win some trophies or prizes, monetary prizes over there in that arena. Because you showed in, like, make, who is out there now? Uh, say Nike wants you to be their brand ambassador. Or, shoot, what's a clothing store? Well, let's say Tiffany and Company, you know. They would just scoff at the thought of you trying to come and mention yourself to be one of their advertisers or, or them to sponsor you with their product. Girl, please. They laugh. They laugh, girl. They laugh. But, or hell, Nordstrom's here in Atlanta. Saks Fifth Avenue. They don't want you, Portia. They don't want you. Well, they know who you are and they know of you, definitely. But they've been seeing how you've been using true entertainment as your platform for stardom in the celebrity world. And they see that you don't went towards the UFC or the uh, Wrestling Federation. And they don't want to mix their business up with that. They don't have products where they allow their spokespeople to be fighting out there and carrying on. But no. No. It makes their brand go down. And they want their brand to stay where it is and to elevate. And by putting you in the mix, they feel like they're downsizing. Or they're going out of business. Because you're too violent. You're too violent, girl. You need to get the ang anger under control. Okay? But that's all I got of this video. I was just trying to um, tell y'all what Portia doing now. She's working for or being a brand ambassador or spokesperson for this financial institution. Where you can go get um, bank loans and, and refinancing of your student loans if you have student loans or your children have student loans. And, you know, they make personal loans. They issue out credit cards if you're worthy to receive one of them, depending on your credit score. But I'm like, damn, Porsche, you don't went all the way down now. But okay. All right. You're a hot mess. Still a hot mess. But you can reprieve. You can, you can improve yourself. But you're going to have to cut some people out your life. And me personally, I think you need to cut Simon out. Because he's just bad. I mean, even if he didn't do half the stuff that I'm saying allegedly he has done. The smoking and the drinking is just too much. Too much. And then his age is a factor. I just see you becoming a, a caregiver. And if you can't take care of your daughter 24-7. That you need to have nannies. And you need to have your mommy. And any other family member that want to put up with PJ. You know what I'm saying? And watch her accordingly. The respectful, proper way. You know, you got your family for that. Oh, yeah, let's just say your mama, honey. Your mama, Gina, you on bad terms with her. You on bad terms with uh, your baby's dad. I mean, uh, your baby's father. You know, you just on bad terms with everybody. And it's just like Simon is in the middle. He's the common denominator. So, girl, get it, get it together. Or leave it alone. Okay? But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't forget to like videos, subscribe to the videos, subscribe to the channel. If you find yourself unsubscribed, resubscribe, okay? And share my videos so other people can come over here and kiki and laugh and gag with us, alright? Okay. Well, I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.